Today guys, in this Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 video, I bring you the location of a brand new iconic weapon called the Nihan. This one is easily missed and it requires you to basically come back to the very start. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we have 2.0 here and Phantom Liberty just around the corner. There are many reasons to jump back into the game and play. New loot got me, I won't lie. And today guys, I bring you the location of a new iconic knife called the Nihan. This one for you melee builds out there is definitely worth you coming back and getting. Okay, so to get this iconic knife, you will need access to the penthouse of the Arasaka Tower. I believe if you've already passed the highest mission to go here, you could use exploits later on to make your way back up. With 2.0, I ain't sure if that's still possible anymore. So the only way to actually go back here could be to start a fresh game if you've already passed this point. So the mission is called The Heist. This is a very early on mission where you have to sneak your way into the Arasaka Tower and grab that chip. This is the implant which is the base of your relationship with Johnny Silverhand. Now during this mission you witness what happens when a spoiled child wants it all. Now upon the conclusion to Grandad Arasaka, you are able to loot his body. Upon his body guys is this new iconic knife, the Nihan, and it is quite the beast. Thrown hits apply bleeding. If an enemy is already affected by bleeding from Satari, Nihan will cause hemorrhaging instead. Hemorrhaging drains enemy health and regens yours, so yes this is pretty cool. But guys, this actually ain't the only iconic you can get from this point, there are two others. Now I know many will already know about these two, but for those that don't, here goes. If you come around to the bed in this same penthouse on the side cabinet, you'll find this amazing unique piece of cord, the Congo. Like so grab this. Also guys, as you're just about to escape, you will know that T-Bug loses contact with you, but before she does, she opens the door for you to escape. Now, the way you're supposed to go, hold off on going this way. Instead, head upstairs to the helipad. Up here, guys, there are two guards, uh, but if you take them out, you can loot this chopper. So take them out, guys, and enter the chopper. Here, guys, you'll find another unique code, the Satari, the very weapon the Nihan talks about. So these will go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or toe-in-toe, in a melee build for sure. So three amazing iconic weapon, guys, you definitely do not want to miss. One brand new to the game post 2.0 patch so enjoy guys if any more are found i'll be sure to drop them right here on my channel but there we have it guys i mean what you think about cyberpunk now for me it's a game we were all promised before release i mean i've loved it from day one i won't lie but i know a lot of people held off by the problems it had i've always loved it but right now guys the game is in that in that incredible spot imagine it released as the current game now it would blow everything else away it really would but yes i'm excited to play more and anything else i do find i'll let you guys know for sure guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one